Right, this is grade two, module five, lesson five, where students are gonna be using the associative property to make a hundred or some sort of multiple of a hundred. Uh, the idea being, uh, this is like a landmark number and uh, we're gonna use the associative property to reach those landmark numbers. Uh, let me just show you some examples. So we're gonna begin by starting with some little prerequisite milestone, kind of developmental milestones. So the first we're going to start with 32, you know, this the whole concept of, you know, labels. 32 tens, what is that equal to? Well, that's 320. And at this point, we want our second graders to know that fairly quickly. Similarly, 52 tens, we want them to know that that's 520. Now here's where we want them to start to develop um, their number sense, right? Where they can add 19 tens and 11 tens in their head. And the way they're going to do that is they're going to start with the idea of saying, well, 11 is 1 plus 10. And then 19 plus 1 is 20. Plus that extra 10 right here gives us 30 tens. Uh, and then similarly, over here, we can make this a 1 plus 12. So 19 tens plus 1 ten, that gives us 20. 20 plus 12 gives us 32 tens. And then similarly, we've got 28 tens. And let's see, let's do it in red here. And then we can break this up or decompose it to 2 plus 21. So now 28 plus 2 gives us 30 plus 21. Now students might need to further break this up. They might want to say, well, this is 20 plus 1. And then 30 plus 20 is 50 and then 50 plus 1 is 51. There's a variety of ways that students might get these answers. And then same one over here, we've got, we could decompose that to uh, 2 and 22, and then 28 plus 2 gives us 30, and then 30 plus 22 gives us 52. Of course, an easier way to do that one would be to look back here. If 28 plus 23 is 51, then 28 plus 24 is going to be 52. It's going to be one higher. So we're going to going from 51 to 52. Now, keep in mind, in these last ones here, this is 51 tens. Now, what is 51 tens? 51 tens is really 510. And what's 52 tens? That's really 520. All right. So we're going to make a number bond to make 100. All right. And what that means is let's start off by saying, well, let's start with 190 plus 460. And I can see that 190 is really close to 200. It's really close to a milestone number. And all I need is 10 more. So that means I can decompose 460 into 10 plus 450. And now when I add, I can see that I can add 190 plus 10, and that gives me 200. So now our new simplified number sentence can be 200 plus 450. And then when we add those together, we get 650. Now, ideally, over here, students might even be able to see that. They might see that, oh, well, if these guys together add up to 200, I still have the 450. So 200 plus 450 gives me 650. But right now, we want students to write down the simplified number sentence over here. A little bit more practice. So we've got 380 plus 430 
and I can see that my 380 is pretty close to a milestone number. It's pretty close to 400. We just need 20 more. So I'm going to decompose 430 into 20 plus 410. And now here is our milestone number. We now have 400. So our simplified number sentence will be 400 plus 410. And adding that together, we get 810. And sure enough, students might have been able to see that over here, that 400 plus 410 equals 810. A couple more examples. We're almost done. Now this one, I, I thought it was kind of cool because they're switching it around on us. This time, it's the second number that's close to our milestone number. This is almost 300. It needs just one more. So let's decompose 75 into 74 plus 1. And then there is our milestone number. That's 300. So our simplified number sentence becomes 74 plus 300, which is 374. And sure enough, we can see that over here. That 1 plus 299 equals 300, right here. Plus we have 74 left over, so 300 plus 74 is 374. And our last problem for this video, we've got 795 and we've got 156. Now which of these two numbers is pretty easily close to a milestone number? Technically they're both, you know, relatively close to some sort of milestone number, but which one's nicer and easier? I think this one is. This guy is only five away from the milestone number of 800. So let's decompose this guy to 5 plus 151. And sure enough, that's still our 156. But now we can add these two guys together. 795 plus 5. That gives us 800. There's our milestone number. And our simplified expression would be 800 plus 151. And that equals 951. And sure enough, if we look over here, right here is our 800, plus we have 151 left over, so there's our 951. And that wraps up Grade 2, Module 5, Lesson 5, where we're using the associative property to make milestone numbers. And really, when we say we're adding, you're using the associative property, what we're doing is we're using a number bond to decompose in order to make our milestone number.